Right now, the pistol round is going live, live, live. We have uh, Mark the Park, with the Soul Man, having a kit over on that B side. Going to play that side together with Hasking, who's going to look towards the middle. Looks like uh, the pistol round, the pistol T round for uh, SD Gaming is taking them towards the B side of the map, and uh, the bomb is going towards upper tunnels. And they're leaving two players out there in mid. Exilian and Radical are going to make their way uh, through those mid doors. Actually, just going to be a Radical who's. Uh, Going to be a nuisance here from mid, gonna toss two flashbangs in that side, allowing his teammates to push out of the tunnels, and that is exactly how it works out for SD Gaming. Two frags picked up, Radical as well, and Saffron there on CT. Now it's a 4 on 2 already, 7 up and Revenant left with it all to do. Indeed, and SD Gaming seems to be having a firm uh, hole on this B side, just these two players left, no defuse code either. They just can't seem to be unlocking anything. Seven up there is trying to do his best, but Xilianer shuts him down. Revenant, though. Beautiful action in onto Xilian, but time is ticking away. The time is of the essence here in the situation. But not gonna happen. Nexox will uh, shut him down in the end and make it 1 2 0. Really nice pistol round there for uh, SD. Yeah, it is. And uh, very clean pistol round in terms of execution. That worked out perfectly. They set up for the mid to B, but like usually when you go to a mid to B, you send two or three players to tunnels, but they sent four through tunnels. They just, they made sure a Radical could flash over. That worked out very well. Next Fox is going to pick up the first frag onto Revan and they're out uh, towards long. It's going to, Saverin is going to reply, but Next Fox spams through that smoke, takes down Saverin. Takes another one down through the smoke. It's 7-up who also falls to his AK, so it's now a, a 4 on 2 situation. Haas King. With that scout, can he do some damage? He's got at least uh, Xillion, who is on 14 HP. So can he secure that kill? In the meantime, Mark the Park will take down Arcane. Uh, does Hasking realize he's being pushed from wrong? Well, he does now. Gets out of there alive with 100 HP still. That scout firmly in his hands, and the bomb is actually going to go down for a long. And it is. Uh, on to me, Mark the Park is going to be pushing Zillion there. Zillion will be taken down, Mark the Park, and now it's all on Hasking who has that scout. No armor to work with, so surely this is not going to happen. Especially not when Next Fox is up on that box, takes him down. Nice round from Next Fox there on the anti eco. I believe that was four frags. I believe so, indeed. Really good start off uh, from Next Fox there. And like we have previously been praising uh, Royal Lines for their dust two pistol rounds, you know, winning the first three rounds. It's not gonna happen this time. They're already 2 0 down, and yeah, probably this round is not gonna go uh, in their favor either. It's like all of the Royal Alliance are on that A long side, except for Revenant, who's just been uh, grenaded down by Exilion. And that uh, B bomb will uh, get planted, and all uh, Royal Alliance can do is uh, hope to push something and try and do some damage, but I have my doubts. Exilion, no. Sorry. I have to say, like this is the first game where I, where we do not see Royal Lions pick up the pistol round. Mm -hmm. It it's been like, especially on the just two games, they picked up both pistols. Now they actually lost it, and like their pistol rounds was was were always what kept them in in the game slightly, you know. And now that they've lost that, I'm I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Saffron's gonna pick up a good frag though onto Bernard, who uh, ran out of those middle doors, clicks him in the face with the P250. But yeah, bomb is gonna go down. Seven up is gonna salvage that uh, that Mac Ten. I'm not sure if he's gonna want to hold on to that. Is he gonna hold on to that, or is he just gonna go for the upgrade and go the safe route? Well, he's contemplating it, holding on to it. Yeah, he will. He will just buy up armor. Not even. Oh, he's getting a nade set. He, oh wow, he actually threw it away. He's what? going for the shotgun. What? Is okay. that a miss by Rick? Uh, I don't know. It's uh. Interesting combination to say the least. I mean, fair enough. He's with Revenant on that uh, a short side, so if he dies, he can just pick up the, uh, the M4 instead. But yeah, SD Gaming now opting to go for uh, that mid control and 7 up here. He, he's not going to be finding anyone because the action is happening in mid. Hasking again, just choosing to go for that scout and he's just been locked out yet again. He's down to 5 HP. Not a particularly uh, a good thing here, but 7up might be uh, meeting up with a couple of players from SD Gaming. There's uh, just one around that corner. Should be able to connect with that one. It's going to be Arcane. 
and Bernard both there, gonna flash in. Counter flash was there already. Arkane will shut him down with the SMG. A little bit more money in the bank. Ravenon though does come back with a frag of the next hooks. Now, Steve Gaming just need to rotate one side. Having read the uh, A rotation perfectly from Royal Lion. Do some damage through the smoke, but Revenant does do the job. Shuts down uh, Bernard. It's not going to be enough to stop one from going down because the side's completely open now. Well, yeah, and it was actually Revenant who gave away that that SD Gaming could go towards B. They know that Revenant's the B player. And Revenant was like. He was boosted up in CT and he killed Next Fox. And Next Fox is instantly called, like, wait a second, that is their B player. Let's go on to B. And as the game just instantly ran back, and well, there you have a three on two situation, bomb taken down, and it is uh, going to be a save here for the Royal Lions. They've got that AK and an M4 to salvage, and they're not going to lose that gun as well. Also, don't have a kit, so there is a almost no chance that they would pick up this round anyway. So yeah, very. Very strong early game here for uh, SD Gaming, uh, already increasing their lead to 4-0, winning the uh, the gun round as well. Yeah, I mean, it was a bit of a weird gun round for Royal Lions, I feel. I mean, 7 up with a Nova. I mean, what happened there? I <laughs> don't understand. The worst part about, like, that play was that he he had he had the Nova in the right position, but then he pop flashed like way too late. So he just got basically got caught off guard because it was it was basically staring at a wall. So yeah, that really didn't work out uh, in his favor, even though it could have worked out. Right now, it's going to be a a very passive split and play here for their SD Gaming. They're uh, they're seizing cat control, but Nara and next next Fox are up on that cat position. No Royal Lions inside, Exilion will pick up a, a brilliant little headshot there uh, from Revenant who was peeking out towards that, those mid-doors. Hasking is going to pick up that uh, that AK that was dropped though. Revenant's going to pay some respects to his opponent there. Bring him, nice shot bro. And now it's 7up who's going to see a lot of action towards those uh, those A long doors. He's going to get fully flashed, will pick up one, doesn't land a second. Exilion will get a good revenge frag. And uh, now the push towards A is on. Xavarin is still on that side. Hasking is making his way over uh, towards that ramp as well. Benar going to peek around the corner. Will take down Xavarin after Exilion and Xbox mop up uh, the remaining Royal Lions. And that is 5 to 0, Rick. And this is uh, looking grim for the Royal Lions as they have uh, not yet been down so much in the early stage of the game. Indeed. Well, we do see. Uh... Revenant dropping an 8 OP uh, for uh, Haas King, so maybe maybe let's follow up with Haas King, see if he's going to be able to connect a initial shot. Doesn't really look like it though, Xillian is actually just sneaking in, Haas King, let's get the better of him. And there's a lot of players on SD Gaming over the B side, Mark the Park here is going to have to go big. As those players approach him, Mark the Park with one frag, going to connect the second spray, spray down onto the Xbox. The Xbox will punish him. Another. Him for the man down. Slight damage to the Ocal the lines with his people inside. Arcade does shut down Revenant, so it's hard to help him all that. Three off the top. Well, 7 up just decides to run in and uh, dies quick to the next one. Yep. Real 2 situation right now. Asking sure you're gonna opt to save that AWP as well, Xavarin. Those are two very valuable guns which you do not want to lose in a situation like this this is an unwinnable round from now on so the best bet is just to get out of there make sure those guns survive until their next round and that will actually make it six oats for uh, sd gaming Severin will actually take an arcane who just comes uh, hunting for the frag well radical will take him down there Severin down now it's hasking who is in the corner towards a long is going to take down next fox and uh, i think it it was Xillion who also died towards uh, the bomb there. He got out of the... No, it was Arcane. He got out of the bomb site too slow there. And he... Uh, and he died. So yeah. Forced by... Or at least a pistol force coming out for the Royal Lions. We have a Deagle, 257s and a CZ. And Hasking on that saved AWP. See if he can do some damage with that. It is Arcane who actually... Uh, 
Started off the fragging on his own teammate. Bernard will reply to Xavarin though. Four and four situation still. Bernard is going to get uh, tagged up with that AWP of Hasking. Bernard now only on 22 HP. <laughs> Hasking's almost going to land the wall back there. But um, sadly, he is just a couple of centimeters off. And this bomb over the SD Gaming side is going all the way back towards T Spawn. They're not taking any chances, this uh, SD Gaming side. They've learned from their mistakes of previous games. They're going to make their way over towards that upper tunnels area. Bernard is going to hold off the bottom tunnels push. He's going to lead the charge in there, Xillian. And I believe that is Arcane, who is following them in their tracks. And it is Revenant who is up on the short, actually. He could do some damage if he peeks out at the right time here. Doesn't have any flashbangs to work with, so... He has to have the utmost perfect timing of it all. And he's, is he going to spot Xillian? Well, yes, he is. He's going to take that clean off. And Bernard will also fall to the Deagle. Now, Revenant and Revenant picks up a third there with another Deagle headshot onto Arcane. They peek him one by one, and Arcane just destroys them. What are you doing, Revenant? That is absolutely insane there. And now it's all in Radical. He has that uh, AWP. It has a P250. Surely. He's just going to try and survive in this round. <laughs> oh, look at this. I like this. He's going to stick in the corner with the AK. But, like, when the round ends, he's going to swap back to the AWP. But what a round from Revenant. What a brilliant individual performance there. Securing them their first round on the board, Rick. Yeah, like you said, it's individual performance. It always has been from, uh, from Royal Lions. Hasking, we've seen Seven Up do brilliant stuff, and now finally, Revenant is stepping up to the play. But is it truly going to be enough to stop the likes of SD Gaming? Oh. Radical down to Hasking early on, and Arcane follows up onto Revenant. So the individual play is uh, not going to be enough. Our question has been answered straight away. And now, oh. mark the park is uh, on 36 HP and um, let's see what's gonna happen here I mean there's only three players alive for the CTs SDK I mean can pretty much do whatever they want at the moment yep and it looks like what they want is an A push and the Molotovs are going out towards the side Bernard will take down uh, 7 up and mark the parking Severn now have the weight of clutching this round on their shoulder and surely they're gonna try to save these guns again they're not gonna go in there it's only mark the park who has uh well, it's actually xavarin who has that awp they both have a kit but they're uh, they're not gonna do it and they really shouldn't <laughs> they're miles away from that bomb site and if they do manage to save those two guns, they will be able to buy up the next round, so that's all nice and dandy, but they're going to have to uh, take in some rounds as well. But looking at that uh, current situation, Bernard is going to be rushing uh, down. So CT players are just nearly collected through the wall. Zillion does shut down those last two players in fair. Doing the honors. 7-1. to one, And yeah, pretty broke bank here for uh, Revenant, but they should be able to get a drop in. Yep, well, to be fair, it has to be said, this is a slightly T favored map, so if the Royal Lions can pick up some rounds of string, some together, they could be uh, still in this game, but I have to say, I don't see it happening, uh, as the gaming have proven to be so dominant. And the only round they won be was because Revenant went absolutely nuts with that uh, with that Deagle. So, Xavarin has pushed up all the way towards Aegon, it's just around this corner here, Bernard is... Uh, Waiting outside those doors, though. And it is Radical, who is also there at AWP. He's going to wall. He's going to fire off some shots towards Catherine. It's not going to do an awful lot of damage, though. Well, that bait is. Catherine down to the HP. Surely going to make his way out of those double doors there. As it is uh, now 7 up. He's uh, joined his teammate there to make sure they're not. Stepping out of these double doors towards A long. Bomb is actually rotating over towards B. It is uh, Revenant who is all by his own from there holding that B side. Are they going to attack this side or are they going to test Revenant? 
He has proven once to be a uh, very strong aiming force, especially with that Diego. But can he do the same with an M4? The push seems to be on. It is uh, Bernard who's going to make sure the rotators are cut off from the middle. And now uh, the pressure being put on Revan. Revan will pick up one. And you add the second. Yes, you will. Arcane down. Good little damage there as they push the side. That is, uh, that is enough for him. Meantime, Cillian makes his way on that side and plants the bomb. Seven up in the meantime will take down Bernard. So it's now a two on four situation. Radical and Cillian. Radical has that AWP, so. Yeah, five Cillian will try to make his way through that smoke. Almost does so successfully, but uh, Mark the Park will run in eventually and take down Radical with that AWP. It's going to be a double up setup there. Hosking is going to pick up an AWP as well, and that is the second round there for the Royal Lions. Yeah, hats off. Finally, a uh, successful retake from Royal Lions. I mean, got to point it out there. But uh, it could be problematic here, because if SC Gaming do take in the next round, it's going to be uh, a hard reset for Royal Lions. And a double up setup. Not too sure if that's going to be the best thing against SD Gaming, because SD Gaming are quite an aggressive team, and then they go on the B side, because uh, Warren's already been dropped. He did take out Maxox, but... I mean, pretty got control over the B-bomb side. Cillianow has been shut down. This bomb must get to get planted. But uh, Radical is on the job. He's gonna stick that bomb on the B-side right now. And this again, the Alliance to go for that retake. Park going in with a couple of grenades. Throw the molly, but Radical just comes peeking out. Shut down, Mark, Mark. Uh, comes in from the back, but has been slightly flashed up. Will get taken out by Arcane. It's gonna... Will take that 7 up as well, and... Asking, gotta die in the process as well. Too radical. So, good read there from SD Gaming, realizing there's a double up setup, just going straight to B, and that's all uh, all you gotta see here. And a uh, hard reset, it's pretty bad for uh, Royal Alliance right now. Yeah, that is basically the worst case scenario you can uh, you can have as a CT. You win one, you lose the next. That means your economy is indeed reset. It's only Seven Up who has that deagle with armor and a kit. Oh, he's proven to do a lot of that before, but. Oh. Uh, the empty gaming side are gonna push aggressively like this. B side is theirs for the taking, and now, clearly, this is not gonna happen. No, it isn't. Hosking will get taken down from the AK of uh, Arcane there. And now it's Revenant 7 up with Xaverin. Next Fox will take down Xaverin. It is now all on Revenant and 7 up. And 7 up is just outside those doors with that Deagle. Uh, maybe try to kick off the really aggressor as well. Won't be able to do any damage though. Next Fox come through those mid doors with a P90. And now it's all on Revenant. And he is over towards that B, those B-tons with that Deagle. He's proved to be deadly with it, but this time, not so much as Arcane will come around the corner and take his head clean off with that AK. 9 to 2, Rick. And this is a spinning out of control here for the uh, Royal Lions. Yeah, Royal Lions, they need this round. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, downhill from now on. And it's already been going like that. And asking again, going for the scout. You know? At one point, you'd think maybe get a different weapon and he's already been tagged up, which is not a good thing. 7-Up, though, does take out one early on, showing some real aggression here. And asking will get dropped. And 7-Up, doing well, does take out a second one, so great play there from 7-Up on the A long side, but the aggression from SD Gaming going straight in mid will get the better of Revan on, and okay, he's just gonna flash in. Mark the Bark, though, lying in play here. Does manage to shut down one, but immediately being traded by the Arcane. And again, SD Gaming going for that B side. They got full control over it. It's the last two players from the Alliance are trying to scramble in towards that B side, but. Medical? Actually, gonna get taken out by Xavorin. And maybe a little bit too aggressive play from uh, Radical, just picking out the, that hole. And. We well, yeah. Arcane and Arcane will go down to 7 up eventually. I thought, uh. I see Gaming had that there, but, you know, if Radical was a little bit more passive, that could have well been their round, but we'll need a round there from, uh, from, uh, the Alliance, and pretty courtesy of, uh, 7up there, picking so bad trick. Yeah, it's again 7up stepping up for his team, securing them around. We've seen him do that many times before, Rick, and it is, uh, like you said, the third round on the board for them. Still, if they can string three rounds together now, they might be still in this game. If they lose the next one again, that means they'll be reset again. And that basically uh, shatters all their hopes and dreams in this game. It's uh, going to be a uh, slightly more passive play here for uh, SD Gaming. 
They've got the bomb over towards the lower tunnels. Are they going to flash themselves out in middle? Yes, they will. Arcane is going to lead that charge. Just as I said, that could be a slight, slightly little bit more passive uh, round. They're going to do an aggressive mid to B, or at least fake it. Flashers are coming out once again. CT is being smoked off, but look at this. They're actually going to make their way towards short and uh, wait for that Molotov. Radical will get a pick on the asking, and that is big. That uh, basically makes the round so much easier for your team. But Revenant will even it up once again. Full and full will land the headshot there onto Radical. Is it Tavern who is now being spotted? And he actually takes so much damage from that Molotov. So much uncontested damage there as he uh, is now in the corner with that FAMAS with only 28 HP. He's got 7 up to back him up though. It looks like it will actually be an A push. Three people coming towards, uh, coming through short. 7 up needs to be careful though that he doesn't get caught off guard here from Wong. But uh, it will actually be Nexfox who will be picking up the frag down onto him. And now it's on Revenant and Mark the Park. Mark the Park only has a scout to work with. Revenant has that AK. Nexfox and Arcane. Super low though. 2 and 3 HP respectively. Bernard Axillion on full HP, though. Yeah, that's definitely not a good thing for SD Gaming. And the, on the other hand, I mean, Royal Lions, what can they truly do without any utility? Only Revenant has got himself a smoke. Just managed to get rid of Black Sox, but the mini Axillion will be there. AK shot to that to shut down Revenant. And Mark the Park is just going to probably save that ADLP and hope to get a, a better round the next one in the future. Who knows? Yeah. But there's, well, there's literally nothing you can do if you're both coming from A short and not have any sort of grenades to shut down a lower, uh, lower HP players. Yeah, true, true that. And it looked like to be slightly uncoordinated as well as they uh, were both aiming at the same box. Not, not like baiting out the player on the uh, on the A side there. And this is like we said, we spoke about worst case scenarios before, and this is. Wow, as I said that, Mark the Park, Radical, down and out of this equation. B pushes on, Mark the Park will continue his speed there with a second frag. Will he land the third? Arcane will deny him that opportunity. Xillion and Arcane now left. And it's two on three. They've got this B bomb side. They have got the Molotovs to uh, fend off the incoming CTs, but of course, it is going to be a sandwich push here from the CTs. They're going to wait for the aggression from Tunnels uh, to come in. And 7-Up and Xavarin are going to make their way through those doors here. And Xillion who comes around the corner. Arcane. Still with a headshot with Xavarin. That is just poorly played there by the Royal Lions. And uh, Xillion will pick up the remaining frag there to Revenant. But wow. That was a really, really bad retake. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, SD Gaming had about five headshots that round. With the AKs, so that is uh, impressive stuff by them. Especially Arcane, he's really, uh, really playing well with that AK. Bernard on the scout. I'm not too sure why you would pick a scout. Well, uh, he had the money to buy an AOP, perhaps. No, actually he didn't. But Bernard does manage to shut down one with a lovely little shot, and there's only uh, three more players left to apply for the CTs, and it's just those pistols and the scout and the Max Seven. Step up, up. Just sprays away with an eagle. Nothing you want to do here. And Royal Lions are just going to get cleaned up. 12 to 3. And that's really bad for Royal Lions. But a really, really nice half for uh, SD Gaming on their attacking side. On their T side. Yeah, and as we spoke about saving their face. Saving face. Maybe going for a little bit of honor in those last matches. Well, this is not the way to do it, Rick. Mm -hmm. It is... Uh... Proven to be a slaughter here for the SD Gaming side. They have not played well so far in this tournament. It has to be said. I mean, they picked up one draw against the Logan Lions. Yeah. But um, apart from that, it, ha it has been a uh, a very rough run for them. We look well, at the game versus Asterion. SD Gaming, for example, um, they played against the tougher opponents first, right? So I think they're going to beat Royal Lions, judging by the score right now. Uh, the next game, uh, which would be next week, would be against the Untouchables, which they could win as well. And the last game is against Orclus, which is a default win. So they yeah. could still get a three wins. And is that going to be enough? That could be enough if Lola Lines or Asterion mess up. Yeah, well, second pistol round is, uh, is underway, but... Well, let's see. 
Royal Lions can pick up this round. Look at the aggressive uh, position here from Cillian though. Gonna pick up the first, they're on to mark the park. Gonna pick up the second, they're on to seven up. Will he manage to land the third? No, he won't, because look at this. The push towards A is actually on. It's next box, it was on that side. Will pick up a frag still with one HP. That USP is so deadly because of the one tap potential, and the next box shows us exactly why that is. And now it's all Saverin, and he has uh, no armor. He's got the bomb plant though, but still, Bernard is just gonna run in and take him down. That is a uh, good solid pistol around there for the SD gaming side. And, uh, you know, 13 to 3. Again, a pistol around lost now with the Royal Lions. Um, it just makes such a big difference, Rick. Like, if you win both pistols, this scoreline is, is like so so different. You would have mm -hmm. like with their three rounds they got in gun rounds, it would have been nine rounds for them, you know? If they picked up two pistols. So it's just such a big deal, but uh, oh wow the eco pushes on and it is Revenant Saverin combining. <laughs> taking on SD gaming. The radical just replies, you know, with a double grenade and a Peter fifty kill. He's like, Oh the things you do I can do better. He's going to push in. It is uh, Bernard who's uh, going to take down Saverin with that auto shock. I'm going to take down Revenant as well. That should not happen, uh, Revenant. 14 to 3. And uh, it is... Uh, yeah, this is... Those are grim times for uh, for SD, uh, for Royal Lions. I'm calling it. This is over. Yeah, well, I, I heard you I heard you say, you know, with the, with the auto shock and you were like, Ah, oh, is he going to take him out? Is he going to take him out? <laughs> Finally, he did. But uh, I love that grenade from uh, from Radical. Was it two grenade, two grenade kills? Brilliant. But a little bit too close for comfort that round. But still, uh, I doubt SC Gaming gonna let this out of their hands right now. As uh, Arcane uh, and Mark Park both down, so four and four. We're all uh, square in terms of numbers. Radical is holding the A long. There's uh, Asking baiting around there, but Asking is gonna go uh, back towards their teammates. Help him out a bit. But can't seem to be finding anything. But not they just uh, peek around, but he's not gonna get fragged, and they're gonna return to that B side as they are making their way towards the mid. Cillian and Bernard gonna have to work uh, for that B side. And what are they doing? They're going into the tunnels. Perhaps gonna wait for a retake, or what's going on here? Bernard don't, does find himself a trap to rev up. But now Royal Lines, they have got this side, so. It could be possible. Yeah, it could be possible indeed, and uh, if there was a time, time is right now. It has to happen right now if they want to make a chance still in this game. But look at the push coming in the game. Three players coming towards those tunnels, but Hasking will get a no scope there on the next box. It is Radical who replies there with an AWP shot. And can they fend off this incoming onslaught? Radical will land the headshot there through. Those doors and Xaverin is gonna realize Radical is on this defuse. He's gonna miss his shot. Oh my God, Radical! He defuses the bomb right under the nose of Xaverin, and the knife rack comes in way too late. And that is a ninja defuse there, Rick. A ninja defuse to add insult <laughs> another, to injury. Another, <laughs> another ninja defuse. Wow. I mean, I guess that's one sort of consolation that you have a knife kill, but really you lose a round for that. We have a, a Zeus on medical. Is he gonna use it? Oh, I'd love to I see that. Know. Some Zeus action. I haven't seen that in a while. Nice, uh, nowhere near the action though. Next Orcs enemy wall has uh, shut down uh, Xavorin. And uh, Arcane already picking up two frags early on. It's probably gonna be over unless Revenant and Asking are gonna absolutely big here. And 2 on 5 Revenant should be able to take out Bernard. He will do so. They gotta get overwhelmed. Xillian will uh, shut down Revenant. And it's all asking. One on four. Not gonna happen. Gonna die midair. Courtesy of Xillian. 16 to 3. And that is uh, a confident scoreline for uh, SD Gaming, to say the least.